Good day. That was very Australian. I'm in, I'm in England, but I sounded Australian there. That was very, very bad. I can't say top of the morning because that's Irish. Anyhow, we're in the gym here, gym box, where we're at in East London. We're training today. We got back my Gymshark teammate, Elliot, here. We're going to be doing back day, yeah. pull, pull day. We got a program from the Swole program. First and foremost, a little bit of core activation. I got a bad lower back, and I heard you yeah. do too. Yeah, my back's like, my whole like, training career, I've got a bad back. Yeah. So, doing bent over rows, squats, and stuff like that is tricky. As it is for me, so we're gonna be starting off a little bit of core work. First thing we're gonna be doing, foam roller. We're gonna do foam roller planks with a rollout. Biggest thing on this movement, keep the core tight, squeeze the glutes, rolling down the elbow, and then back to the top. So it's a plank variation. That stability there causes a lot more stabilization to occur in the abs there. Gotta get that back right. Biggest thing is like, go on the top all the way up and up, and the bottom all the way down. Like that's where I start feeling it most of my shoulders. So we never do these without, you know, I never do a dumbbell shoulder rotation without using some support underneath my elbow. Cable's a little bit different, but just definitely putting the shoulder more at risk if you're not using that knee for support. supported barbell row straight into a bent over W raise. So I'll show you guys that once we get on there. We're gonna be sticking 12, 10, 8, 6 on the reps here today um, for the row. And then on the Y raise, we're gonna be just doing sets of 10. So super setting these back and forth, 90 seconds rest in between. On the bent over, now we're using, a lot of people do these, just a bent over barbell row. I love using this because it really takes out any swinging. Biggest thing on this, you're gonna wanna start, arms forward, shoulders forward. First thing we do, squeeze, retract that shoulder blade, and then we're rowing from there. Pulling up to just below the chest. So right to that diaphragm there. We got 12 reps on this first one, and then it's gonna get heavier. We got six reps here. I'm gonna reset on each and every every rep here. So it, it's almost like a, uh, I forgot the name of it. Anyhow, um, so we're going off the ground. I'm gonna reset each time. Six reps, last set, best set. That's a little bit more, uh, it was a little bit, a little bit too heavy for me. From the barbell row, coming over here. If you have any kind of back issues, I find that leaning on either a wall, or in this case a rack, kind of helps me alleviate some of that back pressure. I'm gonna bend over all the way here. Starting down, gonna again, retract that scapula, and we're to a, a W raise right there. So forming a W at the top, holding it for a half second, and then back down. It's gonna be a lot of rear delt, and a little bit of back in there. Next superset for back, we got a one and a quarter rep. So lat pull downs become, you know, lat pull down pump pretty much. So I want to be 
all the way down just like we would. Crack the scapula, pull down, up a quarter, squeeze again, and back up. We have 12, 10, 8. Each time we do one of those, we're supersetting it here. This one is gonna be a little bit different than something you guys have probably ever done. We got a Cuban press, so up, trying to keep close to the body as possible, coming to 90 degrees in the elbow, rotating at that point to over top your head, up all the way, and then back down with straight arms. So a lot of light engagement. This right here only can happen if you're squeezing the shoulder blades down and back, keeping the core tight, lowering it, and then back into it. It's that, fighting it on the way down, people don't realize like, like you know, what is that working? But as if, when, you hit, when you hit that and just fight that on the way down, it's all yeah. a lot. So we're using a lot of posterior delts on that pull, yeah. rotate, and then get a little, little shoulder anterior delts in there, but. Seated cable rail, you can use a straight bar, but we're gonna go supinated grip. So, what that means, if you're using these handles, is I'm gonna start off in a, in, a, in a neutral grip, and as I row, I'm gonna go to the supinated, one fourth, back down. Nice stretch, squeeze, one, two. Your, ear, your uh, ears are between your elbows. Sit back into it, and then as I pull with straight arms, my my torso comes more upright. Curls. Now uh, we're gonna do two different things for biceps. The biceps are lagging, which Elliot's are definitely not. You guys can add a third on there of your choice. If you have 
you know, a weak bicep peak, maybe do a concentration curl. If you're laggy, lagging more length, maybe do a preacher curl. We're gonna start off with dumbbell hammer curls. Seated, 15 reps. Squeezing those shoulder blades down and back, elbows to the side. day in an air-conditioned gym. I don't know why this gym is air-conditioned. We're in London and it's like, you know, what is it, 13, 14 degrees out right now? Is that what it is? I think it's hot. Oh, what is it? Yeah, I know. Oh, it's the scorcher today. <laughs> it's, an, it's, it's an Aussie winter right now. It's an Aussie winter day. Um, one other thing, on the cable slant curls, I didn't do a very good job of this last time. But really start with the palms, trying to face out almost as, as far as possible. So this would be neutral, this would be supinated, almost go even more externally rotated, and then curl up. The litmus test for a pull day or an arm day, if you can touch your shoulder blades, or if you can touch your anterior delt, wasn't good enough, definitely can't right there. It's a good pump. All right, a little skier, because it's back day. Want to leave just feeling exhausted. Competition time. Everyone's in. First to 20, fastest to 20 cows. something that I think both Ellie and I are passionate about and that's fashion. Yeah, definitely. Where are we headed for that? We're gonna go to Camden Markets so and we wanna do like a, a little challenge. I thought we'd be quite happy. We go find some like 
some of the markets, some of the vintage shops, and both me and Steve will go off for 20, 30 minutes and try and buy an outfit for 50 pounds or less. So 50, 50, 50 pounds or less? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that goes, uh, that makes things a little bit more difficult. This guy's got a great style. And I don't, I don't know, like, the only thing we have going right now, he's probably not gonna fit in any shirts. It's gonna be probably t-shirts only that we'll be able to find, because here in England, the dress shirts are a little bit more form-fitted. So there's gonna be, uh, I think that's gonna be our biggest issue. Yeah. It's finding something that fit over the sleeves right now. But it should be fun.